Tucson has many new and exciting things happening around town. That's right, everything from a new hotel and a grocery store that's coming downtown to a new city manager. So who would be more perfect to tell us all about it than Mayor Jonathan Rothschild. Mayor, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to chat with us this morning. Well, thank you for having me, I appreciate of it. Of course, now I'm really excited because I'm a new uh, homeowner okay. and I see that there's a new home goods store coming into town. Will you tell us about it? Well, it's a home goods distribution center. Uh, but of course, home goods supplies for home goods, TJ Maxx, and uh, a lot of stores that people like. But what's important for Tucson is we're going to start with 400 new jobs, uh, building to 900 new jobs over a couple of years. And in building the distribution center, there's going to be millions of dollars of construction work, which is going to mean lots of work for people in our construction industry. So it's a big step forward for us and we're really proud that we were able to put the deal together. It's in the city limits uh, and but we work with the county, we work with our economic development partners and we're thrilled to bring them to Tucson. Well, I, anytime you say that new jobs are coming into the community, we love to hear that. Um, and we also have, like we were saying about downtown, we've got two new additions coming there. Yeah, we do. Uh, breaking ground in the spring, the new AC Marriott Hotel. 147-room uh, hotel on the streetcar line, connects you from the convention center to the university, but it's really a top-notch a boutique hotel, a great start for us, and oh, a block over, a grocery store. The folks that uh, have done the Rincon Market are coming in with, they're calling it Johnny Gibson's Grocery because it's in the old Johnny Gibson's Jim Barbershop. And again, a great addition to downtown. If you're downtown, if you live near downtown, with that grocery store, you can walk anywhere you want as long as you work close by. Yeah, that's wonderful. And it's so close to the U of A. We know we have a lot of students that live in that area. So that is really great news. Yeah. Now, we had some folks on our show last week from the Tucson Musicians Museum. And you were there for the ribbon cutting. Is that right? Yeah, last night. It was a great event. It's something we've been working on for a couple of years. The history is that Tucson, as you know, has such a rich, diverse history of musicians. Everything from Carlos Nakai to Linda Ronstadt, classical jazz. And this is a place they had previous to last night inducted 138 local musicians. Last night they inducted 12 more. And what we've been able to do is give them a home at the Tucson Convention Center. So if you go down now, right by the ticket office, there's a picture of everybody who's been inducted. There's a biography. Uh, there are uh, um, instruments, uh, memorabilia, and it's like a Hall of Fame for Tucson's musicians. And it was a great event last night. Uh, they have an art wall, and it really complements the TCC, but it's really a place where you can go and learn all about Tucson's music history. I think it's a little bit, it's a twofold because the museum, I said we had them on last week, they were just overjoyed to have a permanent home. Yeah. Also, this is so great for the TCC because when people come in, it just screams Tucson. It's a little bit of education, but also that kind of like, wow, I didn't maybe didn't realize this came mm -hmm. from right here where I'm from. Oh yeah, I mean, the, mu the music history here is great and it does, it activates a part of the TCC that w was there, but now, there's something active to do, and it's a great place to take uh, uh, kids. It's a great place to go and learn about Tucson. Absolutely. Now, Mayor, we have a new city manager. What is that going to mean for Tucson? Well, uh, I think it's going to mean, again, moving in the right direction. Uh, we had a city manager, uh, Richard Miranda, who did a great job for us. He came to the age where he wanted to retire. And we, had an, we have an interim city manager, Martha Durkin, who's doing a wonderful job. But uh, she doesn't want to do it long term. <laughs> and uh, so we were really looking for some stability. And the fellow we hired, Mike Ortega, has been a county manager. He's been a city manager. He's worked here in Pima County. His uh, children are now all of college age, and they're at the U of A. And so he wants to get back up to Tucson. And he brings a wealth of experience. Uh, the people we've talked to around the state have given us great congratulations on having him work for us. And so what we're looking for is stability and experience, and we think Mike's going to bring both of those things to us, 
and hopefully keep Tucson uh, going in the right direction in municipal government. Well, let's talk about keeping Tucson going in the right direction because we want to also talk about an over a million dollar award, American Best Award. Yeah, I, I was really thrilled with this last week. It was announced that Tucson was one of four cities that received a $1.8 million grant from America Serves, which is really AmeriCorps VISTA workers who are going to come to our community and they're going to work both in the schools, eight schools in the uh, um, Sunnyside, uh, TUSD, and Flowing Wells school districts, and they're going to work in nonprofits. And the goal is going to be to identify the students in the schools who could use help, whatever that may be, and connect them to the nonprofit agencies who can then help them. But it's not just saying, okay, nonprofit agencies, here's some more work you need yeah. to do, but it's giving them the capacity to work particularly with this population, really to move young people to high school graduation. And as we know, the difference between graduating from high school and not graduating from high school can mean everything to your yeah. life. Yeah. yeah. It is. Mayor, we have so much to talk about. I feel like this is just the tip of the iceberg. We love when you join us and remind us about everything. You know, we just drive around town, take a moment and just kind of see everything that's going up around us and how beautiful it is. So I want to thank you again so much. Well, I appreciate being here and anytime I'm happy to come back. Oh, we love it.